It is the season premiere of the season wrap-up. It's wrapping up the third season. It's the last one. Uh, Dan Stevens saw, uh, stars in it. We saw him as the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, yeah. and of course in Downton Abbey. Most importantly, though, it comes from the mind of Noah Hawley, who is FX's go-to person for really high-end, really interesting. This is like a psychedelic show. The character development you'll be able to follow no problem, as Noah says in this interview I did with him. But it is psychedelic and trippy, and it comes from the X-Men world. So okay. if you're into comics, mm -hmm. if you like that kind of storytelling, Superheroes. make sure you catch up with Legion. It's starting on FX. Take a look. For centuries, everyone said, I'm all father, is the thing. And now you're telling me that the hero is the villain. I mean, there's no show that looks like this on television. So I think, you know, in a, in a culture where there are so many shows, to have something that sort of pops your brain a bit and hangs like, oh, what? I, I've never seen you it. You could almost before. pause each frame and make a comic book. So I wonder sometimes if that's what people are responding to. It's like, you know, we're telling a story, but we're doing it in, in a style that, like, is arresting and strange. Yeah, I think it's unashamedly psychedelic as well, which comics are. Season three of Legion is asking the question, what happens when the villain becomes the hero and the hero becomes the villain? You and I, we are gods. The unconventional superhero drama follows David Haller, who is the son of Charles Xavier, a name X-Men fans will know well. And in this season of David's Journey, viewers are going to see just how shaky the moral line between good and evil can be. It's both a mind-opening show and a show for open-minded people. I think people feel like it's more confusing than it is, because I, my approach to Legion is that it's always very clear what the characters want and what the goals are, and then around that we create this sort of web of, of surrealism. What we say is this season it's eight hours, so we say it's an eight-hour movie. I help people open their minds. One of the things that struck me about the show and the characters in the show, and I'm wondering if you agree with this, is the essence of the show really about celebrating what makes each one of us unique and different? Well, I guess the X-Men have, you know, that's really been the watchword of, of the X-Men is, is difference and sort of mutation as a, as a positive or, or negative thing and, and how do we regard that? At the same time, I think uh, the show is uh, about us looking deeper inside ourselves to find our own demons because we are going around, we have all these voices that have been planted in our heads by our society, by our family, by our friends and then we are dealing with that uh, we are struggling. We are struggling to find ourselves. Are you? Are you understanding this? 